What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Shelter in Place. Number nine is Friday. Thank you for being here. Hope you guys are well. Hope that, hope that you are healthy. Hope that you are strong. And uh, I feel you. I feel you. Thank you for being here. And actually, I discovered something last week. I can look right over here at this monitor and see. Uh, I can't really see what's happening in the chat. I just sort of vaguely see it. But I, I see that. I see that there, all the the yellow clapping hands, and I figured out what that is. So thank you so much. That means a lot, not having an audience here, but seeing your clapping hands, so I really appreciate it. I know it sounds like I'm asking for clapping hands now. Okay, thank you. But if you're feeling it, feel free to put those in there. Um, excited to be here for our little weekly get-together and um, started things a little bit differently, a little free form on autumn leaves there. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, we're celebrating the birthday, we decided we're celebrating this all week of the great Stevie Wonder. Um, I think he's, uh, he's a national treasure. Actually, he's not a national treasure. He's a world treasure. He's an intergalactic, interplanetary treasure. And uh, his music has brought so much joy, I know, to my life and to, I mean, millions of people. What an incredible gift. He turned 70 this week. We think it was officially on Wednesday, but I was getting texts, seeing social media posts, people talking about him all the way from last week, actually. And uh, so I said, well, maybe there's a little bit of dispute about when his birthday is. There's not. It's on the 13th, and he's definitely 70. But the thing is, I think he's so treasured. His music is so loved, and he's so beloved that people just want to celebrate all week. So I'm all for that. So I'm going to play, uh, I think, three of his compositions this evening, uh, if all goes well. Two of them are kind of lesser known because I wanted to, I don't know, his, his catalog is so deep. And, and his writing is so deep that uh, uh, there, there's a lot there. So hopefully these, these will be new. But actually, first, I'm going to play a couple other things. Um, actually, next, I'm going to do Broadmoor. And I believe this is one of the first compositions I've kind of repeated. This is going back all the way to week one when I was still shelter in place. Number one was at my house. We didn't have the cameras. We didn't have the incredible camera operator, the editor, the sound and everything. But I wanted to play this again because I've been thinking about it a lot. Um, this is written about my old neighborhood in New Orleans uh, and, and a very special place called Broadmoor. So big shout out to everybody, New Orleans um, uh, folks uh, around the world or, or sheltering in place wherever you are, uh, where you at, where you at. And uh, I hope you enjoy my composition that I wrote a little while ago for, for New Orleans and for our neighborhood called Broadmoor.
There you go, a little New Orleans for you on a Friday evening. That's Broadmoor, and that is, is that on? It's on a couple of my, yes, it's on the latest CD. Um, I think I mentioned it last week. The great guitarist, Homero Lubombo, my dear friend, we did a duo CD that just came out a few months ago, and um, for you young folks under 40, CD are these round discs that you put into machines, and uh, music, magic music comes out. Anyway, uh, we did a CD, uh, and it's called uh, Live in Tokyo, where Mary Lou Bumble and Peter Martin, the music of Brazil and New Orleans. So we're hitting three different continents, and it was such a joy to make. It was from a tour we did in Japan. Can't wait to get back over to Japan. Not going to be going this month, but hopefully soon. We had a great time. It's a fun recording, so you can check that out. Link below. Right now, we're going we're gonna to get into the Stevie Wonder. If I'm going to do three tunes of Stevie's, we've got to get this rolling. So um, I'd like to play a song that I recorded years ago on the Max Jazz label. And I believe the CD is still available, definitely streaming. But, uh, you know, I've been a fan of Stevie's music for so long. Uh, big shout out to my sister, Nancy Martin, who first kind of, you know, I, I heard Stevie on the radio and whatever. But she always had some great Stevie jams in her bedroom right next to mine growing up. So it was always kind of lurking around there. But um, this is a composition of his that's, you know, kind of in the middle in terms of being known, but I just think it's beautiful. He originally recorded it with solo harp and Stevie singing, If It's Magic.
Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the claps. I see you, I see you. That was If It's Magic, Stevie Wonder. Um, right now I'd like to play some of the music of another treasured composer, jazz musician, and force in the music, Mr. Wayne Shorter, who's still out here doing it, doing his thing. Um, such a, an innovator and a contributor to our music in so many different ways. Um, but this is a composition of his that I've always loved. I think I first heard it when I was like 13 or 14 years old. And uh, it's called Infant Eyes. I just want to say this is a big shout out to all the new lives in the world during this pandemic time. The births, it's so uh, poignant to see uh, humans coming into the world and, and repopulating and young couples going through and middle-aged couples and whoever's having babies going through bringing in, bringing in life forces. And so we hope peace and, uh, and love for all these new tiny human beings. And some of them are kind of big. There's that one, what's that baby on YouTube? That thing is huge. I think it's fake though. It's like, what's it called? Giant baby or something. Anyway, all the other little babies. This is a big shout out to them, infant eyes.
Wayne Shorter's Infant Eyes. We are sponsored this evening by two wonderful organizations. First, Parker's Table. Uh, my friend John Parker and his incredible staff uh, run. If you're lucky enough to be in St. Louis, you may know about him already. If you're here and you don't know about him, you already, you now you know. Uh, he has what I think is the finest wine store and, and fine food purveyors in St. Louis. And he has been, to say that he's been sustaining the adults in the Martin household um, with beverages during this quarantine time would be an understatement. Um, but he has a wonderful selection of wines. And what he's doing for me, I would recommend you do for him, which is we call him every two weeks and say, can you put together a case of whatever you like at this price? And you can give him your price. I think we say $12 a bottle maximum. And he puts together a beautiful selection lovingly from around the world. You can tell him what you like or you can be surprised by him. I've been having some great luck being surprised by him. So big shout out to John Parker and Parker's Table. Thank you for sponsoring us. Um, what I'm kind of experimenting with, I know we got a lot of folks from around the world, but if you're ever in St. Louis, come to John Parker's um, Parker's Table. If you're in St. Louis, give them a call. They bring it out to your car, contact list. It's a beautiful thing. Um, and they're right there, conveniently located in the DeMunn area. Uh, but what I'm, what I'm hoping to do with this concert and other ones that we're starting to produce is to really connect with, if we do have sponsors, to connect with local folks that are doing good stuff and to help out all of us, you know, through this time, small businesses. And our second sponsor is Open Studio, which is our little startup here, online lessons uh, from Jazz Legends. And, uh, you, you know, let's look out for each other during this time and uh, let's, keep, let's keep this party going, as we say. So, a little business taken care of, right, Rachel? Big shout out to Rachel. Big shout out to Rachel Martin, who is operating the cameras, making all the switches, making sure the sound is right and everything. Um, you can give her some love in the chat if you'd like. Rachel, R-A-C-H-E-L. Do not make the mistake with any Rachels of saying A-E if they're an E kind. R-A-C-H-E-L as opposed to R-A-C-H-A-E-L. It's a big faux pas. Those of you that know Rachel, it's two different animals. Right now, I'm going to play a little music of Thelonious Monk. This has been kind of a recurring theme, and uh, hope you enjoy this.
Thank you very much. That was The Secret Life of Plants by Stevie Wonder. I told you I was going to do something a little bit lesser known of his. That was actually from a documentary film that he scored. A beautiful album if you get a chance to pick it up. Uh, definitely one of his uh, more underground albums. But that's, it's a deep well um, of, of warmth and harmony and, and lyrics when we talk about Stevie Wonder. So there's so many different places uh, you can go. Thank you, Stevie. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday, Stevie Wonder. All right, uh, I'd like to do a couple more for you. And as always, we invite you uh, to the Zoom afterwards. We had a lot of folks there last week. We do a little meet and greet, a little virtual meet and greet. That's, that's what we do now, you know? But this is like I told everyone last week, this is not one of those Zooms where it's a meeting that you gotta pretend like you're paying an attention. This is come as you are, come have a good time, come have a drink with me. I actually have something from Parker's Table it's a beautiful bourbon that he provided. Um, so uh, I'm going to play a couple more, but you'll see a link below. You can come in. We got the first hundred folks admitted for the meet and greet. Uh, let's see. Oh, we're going to do a little more Cole Porter because it kind of became, I don't know, I've been playing a couple of Cole Porter tunes. And this is one I recorded back on Max Jazz back in the day as well uh, with Gregory Hutchinson and Ruben Rogers, who had the pleasure of doing a live event earlier today. Big, out, big shout out to them. But this is Cole Porter's You'd Be So Nice to Come Home To.
Cole Porters, you'd be so nice to come home to. And that is, uh, I hope you've got somebody that would be so nice to come home to, because you don't have a lot of choice right now. So hopefully you're with some loved ones, either near or far. Keep them close either way. And um, I'm going to finish things out with a Stevie Wonder tune. Okay, now we're getting to some fairly well-known composition. And this is my first time ever playing this. And everybody's going to know it. I'll just tell you, I don't even need to tell you the title. La, 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 la. That's, that's what this is. My Sharia Moore. And um, I'm going to put a little, a little different spin on it as, as, as I would. Um, but feel free to sing that beautiful chorus. There's no words. We all know it. And then keep in mind, oh, great quick story about this. Um, some of you may know this. My Sharia Moore was originally written, Stevie Wonder was like 16 years old when he wrote this, with this, this song, and he wrote it about his girlfriend or somebody he wanted to be his girlfriend when he was in, in high school in Michigan. And um, apparently she, her name was Marsha, and he wrote the song originally, My Marsha. And um, she wouldn't give him the time of day, apparently. So uh, he renamed the song My Sharia Moore. Bad move on Marsha's part. She could have been famous. Anyway, thank you guys for being here. I'm going to be back next week. We're going into double digits next week, just to let you know. Uh, shelter in place number 10. Thank you. Please spread the word. We got a lot of new friends, a lot of new fans. And yes, give me that, please. And we got a bunch of folks from Japan on this week. Thank you, guys. It's Saturday morning. Uh, Domo arigato gozaimasu to everybody there. Wow, we had a bunch of people giving. Oh, this is beautiful. Thank you guys so much for, for donating to the cause. Amy, uh, Hidekatsu, Yonayama. That's definitely uh, from Japan there. And the camera. <laughs> David, thank you. Bruce Burns, what's up? Ron Rogers, thank you, brother. Richard. Uh, Tenet, James Mills, uh, Bu Bunch of Funk. Now, that's a, good, that's a good name right there. Bunch of Funk. What's up? Digs Jazz a lot. Rob Reeder. Rob Gibson. Nice. Donna Poland. Thank you, Donna. Always good to see you here. Eileen, uh, John Nolan, and Lila Lee. Thank you guys so much. That's, that's very kind of you. And we're going to keep this going. A little My Sharia more. Please join us in the Zoom directly after this. Um, the link is below. Big thanks, big shout out to John uh, Parker, Parker's Table. Uh, go by Parker's Table in DeMunn when you get a chance right there by Clayton Road and Highway 40. He will hook you up for all your pandemic needs in uh, wines and liquors and food and all that kind of good stuff and post-pandemic as well, um, especially the Italian Reds. Check out the Italian Reds. He's got the best selection in St. Louis. So thank you to Parker's Table. Thank you to Open Studio. Thank you to all of you and uh, have a great evening. My Cherie. A more. Don't forget to sing your part now. All right, I'm checking on you.
you. See you afterwards. Thank you.